Hello, I am Vishal Parikh. Today we will explore more on visualizing the data. So what we will cover today? So our today's outlines are, we will see about how we can deal while we are using an appreciated library. Then we will see what is the use of this base map library and we will see how we can plot our geographical data. So let us first start with dealing with depreciated library. Now we know that what is the major advantage of Python? It provides a large number of packages and it provides the support for that. Now as there are large number of packages or we can say a large number of libraries. So there are many developers they are working on this. So it is possible that each and every package may not receive the updates because they are going to become a depreciated features. Now what do you mean by depreciated? So in simple terms we can say it is outdated. Now this depreciated features will be still working on your Jupyter notebook if you try to use any of the depreciated library but it will show you a warning. Why it is showing you a warning? Because whenever you will be using this package for the next time and whenever there will be an update by the developer he or she is trying to remove this particular library and its support from python now how can we deal if we are using a depreciated library but obvious it will show us warning so is there any solution if we are working with depreciated library and i don't want to show the warning message yes there is a solution so for that what we have to do we have to import a library which is named as warnings so how can we do so we have to write import warnings now this warning package provides a method that is named as filter warnings and inside this you have to pass a parameter that is ignore so whenever you will write this particular code and if you are using a depreciated library it won't show you any depreciated warning message next we will see is what is base map toolkit now whenever you want to plot any geographical data in your jupyter notebook so for that we have to import or we have to install this base map toolkit again whenever we are using this python 3 version this base map toolkit has become depreciated but still we will going to use this particular library so for that we have to make a virtual environment on our anaconda prompt so what is the syntax so whenever you will open your anaconda prompt the first thing you will see is your base so what syntax you have to write in order to create your environment so first you have to write conda then create then dash n base map space then we have to specify python equal to 3 that means we are using the version of python equal to 3 and then we have to specify space and after that we have to write anaconda and after its we have to specify its version that is 5.2.0 now after successful installation of this base map toolkit you need to activate this particular toolkit so how can we activate it again you need to go to your anaconda prompt inside this you will see first thing that will appear is base now what is the syntax for activating this base map toolkit so the syntax will be conda activate base map so the particular use of this library is to plot geographical data so now let us move towards how we can plot our geographical data so for plotting geographical data of different countries for example if i want to plot a map of usa so is it possible in python yes it is possible so for that you have to use a base map library so how can we plot our geographical data using base map toolkit we will cover in programming session and also we will see how we can hide a warning that appears in our jupyter notebook start programming and we will plot in this today is geographical data so what we are going to plot in geographical data so we want to plot a map so whenever we want to plot a map so first we need to import is our base map library so how can we import it so there is a module that is mlp underscore toolkit so this toolkit library 
and inside this we have to use base map that is dot base map and we are importing our library that is base map next i have imported is numpy then i have used for plotting we need matplotlib so i have used matplotlib.pyplot and i have created its object as plt now let's run this now whenever you want to create a map so first what i am doing we have to specify longitude and latitude so let us consider the following cities so first we will consider austin hawaii washington chicago and los angeles so here you can see there we have specified four different parameters so four different cities and it is taking two different parameters so the first parameter is your longitude and second parameter is your latitude so for austin we have specified two parameters for hawaii we have specified two parameters for washington we have specified two parameters for chicago we have also specified two parameters and for los angeles also we have specified two parameters why because whenever we want to plot a map we require its longitude as well as its latitude so let us run this now whenever we want to plot a map so there is a method which is known as base map now inside the base map it takes different different parameter so what are the parameters so first let us understand the different parameters that we need to pass so first parameter you can see here is projection now what does this projection used for so it defines how your map will appear on your screen so the first parameter is projection and i have specified m e r c so there are different attributes that are available with projection but i am using m e r c now you can see over here is the first parameter that is l l r l l c r n r l a t what does it means it means latitude of lower left hand corner of your desired map what does it mean it means latitude of lower left hand corner of our map inside this we have to specify the degrees so what i have specified over here i have specified 10 degree so second parameter is your latitude of upper right hand corner of our map again it takes the value as degree so i have specified it as 50 the third parameter you can see over here is longitude of lower left corner longitude of lower left corner of our map again it is taking value in degrees so i have specified it as minus 160 and the last parameter again i have specified is longitude of upper right corner of our desired map again it takes the values in degrees so i have specified its value as minus 60 so what does this base map method takes so the first parameter is your projection that means how your map will appear then we have to specify the angles so what are the different angles that are in degree so it takes four different angles so the first is your latitude of lower left corner second is your latitude for upper right hand corner then it takes longitude longitude of lower left and upper right corner longitude now whenever we want to display coast lines so if you have observed a map you can see that there are different coast lines so if you want to display coast lines also it is possible how can we do that so again there is a method that is known as draw coast lines and this method is of base map object so what we have to do m dot draw coast lines so this method will plot coast lines in your map now you can see that there are different continents inside the maps so if you want to plot continents it is also possible and if you want to fill with fill the continents with different color it is also possible so there is again a method available which is known as fill continents again this method is accessible with the help of base map object so the first parameter is your color 
that means what will be the color of the continent so i am specifying here as light gray and another color that i am specifying is the color of our lake so how can we specify so for that again there is a attribute which is named as lake underscore color so again i have specified over here the color is light blue now if you want to draw parallels if you want to draw parallels inside your geographical map it is also possible so how can we draw these parallels so there is again a method which is named as draw parallels now here we have to specify the range so what i am doing over here is i am taking an array which is present inside this numpy library so np dot array range a range means array range i am specifying its value from minus 90.2 Plus ninety one point comma thirty point, and next I am specifying is draw meridians. So if you want to specify the meridians, again we have to specify the range of array. So again I have used numpy dot array range, and inside this I have specified the values. Now if we have seen maps, you can also see some some of there is boundaries. so if you want to draw boundaries in your map it is also possible so how can you draw the boundary so there is again a method which is named as draw map boundary and inside you want to specify the color it is also possible so the attribute is fill underscore color and i have specify the color as aqua now in order to draw different countries so we can draw it with the help of method which is named as draw underscore countries but with the help of object that is m now whenever i want to plot it so as we know that plotting requires x and y coordinates so how can i distribute it so for that what i have done i have first taken is m then i have taken multiplication then i have taken a zip function and what i am doing i am zipping this four to five different cities that are available so what i have done i have zipped this hawaii austin washington chicago and los angeles so what it will do it will take two different parameters that is x and y so whenever we want to plot so the first parameter will be our x second parameter will be our y the third parameter i have specified is marker marker means what type of shape i want to represent so i am taking it circle now if i want to change the size of this circle it is also possible so for that i am having an attribute which is named as marker size and i have specified its value as 6 now another thing i have specified is marker face color so whenever you want to change the face color it is also possible so how can we change it so there is again an attribute which is named as marker face color and i have specified the color as red and the last attribute i have specified over here is line width and i have given it as zero now i want to give the title of my map so i have given it as projection and now i want to plot this map so this is possible using show method of matplotlib so let us run this okay so now you can see over here what we have done is this is a particular map of a particular country now what we have done we have specified different colors we have specified the markers we have also specified the lake color we have also specified the continents so here you can see it is the continent so we can see over here the continent color is light gray then you can see this light blue color so what does this light blue color indicates it indicates lake color so this is lake color this is lake color and if i want to show the boundaries so here we have specified the color as aqua so this is your aqua color now you can see that i have used a marker and i have taken it as zero or you can say it is as circle so for that i have taken here this particular circle in order to indicate different cities of that particular country and i have also changed its color so here you can see the color of it is red and i have specified the line width as a zero so the line width will not be available 
so this is your map that we have created using base map library now we have also seen today a topic which is known as appreciation of our library so you can see as i have told that it will show you a warning that this particular function or this particular library will be depreciated in next version so whenever i don't want to show this type of warnings so what we have to do if you recall we have to import a package or a library which is named as warnings so what i have done here right now i have commented it but i need to uncomment it so what i will do here i will remove this comment from here both of the line so first what i have done i have imported the library that is warnings and i have used a method that is filter warnings that means here it is showing you warning this is not an error but this is a warning so if i want to disable this warning so what i have to do so inside this package there is a method which is named as filter warnings and inside this we have to specify a parameter value as ignore so what it will do it will discard all your warnings that will appear in your notebook so let us check this let me run this entire program again and now whenever we will run this you can see it has discarded why because whenever we are working with this base map some of the functions have been depreciated so that we cannot use in further updates when the developer provides the update for this particular library so whenever we want to hide such warnings at that particular time we have to use this module which is named as warnings so whenever you want to plot your geographical data or we can say that if i want to plot a map so we have to use a library that is known as base map so i have installed it already so i have directly imported here and shown you how we can create a map so what we have seen we have seen how we can plot a particular map inside our jupyter notebook so this is all for your today's session thank you